In this video, we're going to be sharing with you one of my favorite route combos in Madden 23. Very simple, very effective, and it's going to be able to beat every coverage in the game. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button down below. It's free to subscribe. Also, if you want to get my full trips tied in offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. Ten bucks will get you access to all of our ebooks and all the updates to the ebooks. We just this last week released a 55 uh, minute long update to trips tied in. We included, I think, 30 new plays or 30 new setups for you guys. Um, including one of the best red zone plays in the game. So if you want to check that out, the link is in the description. Again, patreon.com slash Cody Ballard, or just uh, hit the link down below. All right, so you don't need any abilities for this at all, okay? Uh, PA counter go is the call. And what we want to use this play to do is essentially um, – it's really good against man and really good against cover three, okay? Which is kind of the number one zone coverage that people are going to call um, when they're trying to make it look like man. So the setup is we're going to flat the middle trips receiver. We're going to uh, in route and smart route the outside trips receiver, and then we're going to streak. So as you see here, this is the basic setup. Now this uh, setup just got a lot better because of how effective that right there is. So if you have a one-on-one -on -one to your tight end and there's and the user is not going to respect the ag, please throw the ag. Um, EA, in my personal opinion, wants the game to be played this way. So we want to go ahead and maximize that with some of our setups. So anyways, you see that. And then the other thing that you have against man is this crosser um, is going to get open super deep down the field. Now the beauty of this concept, the beauty of this play, is the fact that we have... Um, due to the last patch, play action blocking really got a massive, uh, really blocking in general got a massive buff. And so you should be able to consistently have time to be able to actually hit this route. The only, there's only one, uh, like coverage in the game that can really defend this well. Um, but it does leave some other stuff open. Okay. And then as you see, the in route on the backside is really, really nice. So your reads are really simple. That's why I like this play so much. I'm looking streak to crosser to in route to flat. Boom. Okay. Now, um, let's go over zone. So, um, the, the next natural thing that they're going to do is call cover three. And this is a really good play for cover three. So, what you're going to notice here on the left is the curl flat will get sucked in. And I can throw this flat route and get about 10 to 15 yards with this simple flat route. It doesn't matter if they zone drop their curl flats it, if they have a curl flat on the field that route is going to be wide open i don't free form it i just default pass lead it you can pass lead it up and that's why it's a later read in the play so i'm already have progressed through and looked at my streak and looked there there and then now i'm going to come back to the flat i might come back to the crosser later on in the play which i'll show you right now but you see how um you know this is we want everything to be about three seconds um, right now with the way the game plays like you have about three seconds to get the ball out uh, Which should be plenty of time to make a quick read um, You'll see here this route to Godwin is really good now what you really want to make sure you do Ideally is you really need to be running this play With your tight end on the short side of the field this year and the reason why is because the outside third is going to get more um, It's not going to be able to defend the crosser like it would if we were on the if we were on the opposite hash mark. Okay, so the spacing is actually really important this year. It's probably more important than it's ever been for trips. So if you want to run this particular concept, you basically what you want to do in Madden 23 is you want to flood via the short side. Wide side floods are really not that powerful this year because of how good or how much improved they improve some of the deep zones. All right, so then I want to go over cover four. So cover four, you're going to see here is actually, um, this is why, again, you really want to run this to the short side. Cover four, if it's not pressed, like right here, it's not pressed. I'm just running cover four. You'll see right here, a lot of times with this play, that outside quarter will actually chase the tight end. And then you can go ahead and free form it out of bounds, or you can actually throw it to him. Um, but whatever you want to do. So, uh, again... Now, I want to show this variation of cover four, which is a press variation. You'll see here a little bit of a different um, outcome. He's he, de he technically is going to be able to play this really, really well. Okay? So that's the one thing that can really kind of 
stop this play, but I do want to kind of shed some light on two things in cover four that you can do. The first thing is this. Um, the first thing is I can highball this right there, okay? Because the quarter flat defender is going to basically play almost like a hard flat. And then their user, typically in a cover four defense, their user is going to be this guy. So he's going to be kind of poaching in here and almost like a deep blue the way he's going to practically play because he's going to go from the tight end to the crosser to the end. So he's going to go tight end, crosser. Look at where that's open, though. It's open on the far left. So that's another really key piece of this. Like off of the snap of the ball, we're already wanting to look. So we're looking here. No, no, and then boom. That's how fast the progression should work. And if you're playing really good Madden, you'll be able to hit this very consistently. It's really good against any kind of hard flat. So whether it's the, the beauty of the flat and the in route concept is I have to choose one of them, okay? So here they choose the flat, so I throw the in. So it's essentially a two-man game on the left side. And then you have, um, you know, you your, your crosser, uh, your deep crosser. So, um, you know, boom. And, and, and you really want to work this. Because what this forces is it forces the user to have to stand over here and user uh, user the in route. So let me make sure my audibles are set. Boom. Okay. So now they have to use the in route. So the window that that creates for your play, which most people aren't going to use the in route, trust me. Um, you should be able to hit that, but if they do go user that, this field or this play, um, you can throw this this ball to the crosser. This um, this hook curl is actually going to go crazy. Um, normally, it's I have from what I have seen, the hook curl won't climb as much as it's climbing right here. But I'll show you something here. So if they go to that, there's a little window right there that you can high ball in behind the yellow before he gets to the deep third or the deep quarter. Okay, so that's something to kind of just keep in the back pocket. Obviously, you know, it, it, they can run cover four and stop it, and we could call something else, right? Um, if they play perfect defense, they play perfect defense, right? Um, you know, but this is a drop eight cover four. It's really the best way to stop this uh, with a right user on the left. However, that opens up a lot of other things that we could do. Um, I'll give you a little variation play that I really like right now. It's this right here. Um, so we still get that same flat end concept on the left. So it looks very similar. But now we have a slant um, and an out route. So what's going to happen is they have to choose. So typically your out route is going to be there for you th this year. And then if they overcommit to the out route, so the way that they're going to have to overcommit to that is they're going to have to have you know a slot corner over there. They're going to have to have help. Um, and then th what should be there is the backside slant right in that little pocket. Okay. So anyways, that's how you can kind of use PA counter go, uh, in a really, I think simple, but effective way to attack pretty much every defense in the game. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, or if you haven't picked up the trips ebook yet, make sure to join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up. You'll get access to 14 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as any new ebooks and any additional updates that we release to those ebooks. Like I said, we dropped a 55 minute update video uh, for the trips tied in stuff with, I want to say 30, around 30 new plays. So if you want to check that out, the link is in the description. Thanks for watching. And again, if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head on down to the description of the video and click the link down below.